Now I know I've done actually like a top 10 attacker, like best attackers in the game before, but today I actually wanted to do 10 supporters. Like what are the top 10 best supporters you guys could actually invest in in the game that will actually be worth your gems. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Now here's the thing guys, I did make a top 10 list, but the thing is, I didn't put them in order, okay? Just making that clear for any of you guys watching and I don't want you guys commenting like, oh, why did you mention this monster last? This is supposed to be the best one. It's not in order, trust me, okay? These are all really good. They're all worth investing in. So I just went ahead and put them in here. Now, here's the thing. I do want to mention this. This monster, I understand that this may be a support. It probably is a support. I've never done a review on it. I don't know how good this monster is, so I'm not going to comment on it. But it might be one of the best, who knows? But these monsters are actually hard to get, so if you get it, cool, you know what I mean? But I honestly don't know, so I don't want to actually put in my input, I guess, about the monster, because that'll just be wrong. So I'm not going to do that. But anyways, one of the monsters I actually want to let you guys know about is the one and only from the Doomed Era. Can you guys guess who it is? You were close. Yeah, Elvira Demon Slayer. Elvira Demon Slayer is like one of the best monsters to actually invest in. If you don't have Maggie, if you didn't purchase like Maggie for like $300 or something, rank 5, this is the one to go. This is actually really good because if you could get it to rank 5, this is when this monster becomes really, really usable. Area Evasion, Sensitive Area Torture Immunity, you do have Celestial, Bulwark, and Immune to Blind. Pretty sweet. I kind of wish just Immune to Blind was area. That would have been really nice, but the area evasion already just makes up for it. So it's nice. So if you need a supporter, you know what I mean? A really good one. And this monster can be used as an attacker. So it's kind of like a hybrid monster. You can go ahead and pick this monster up, rank it up. It's really good. Max it out. It will last you a couple of eras, most likely. A couple more eras. I mean, look, it came out in Doomed Era. Players are still using it up until basically this one. So that's one, two, three, basically. We're not going to count Ancestrals and Undead. Not, sorry, not Undead. What is this? Uh, the Walking Dead. That's what I was talking about. That's what I wanted to say. Next one is also from this era. Can you guys guess who it is? I think you guys probably get, can guess who this one is. You're all the Divine. One of the best Resurrectors. Actually, probably the best Resurrector right now in the game, no? I can't think of anyone that's better than you all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Ural, right? Ural has Dodge Area. Well, sorry. Here comes Dodge Area at rank 3. You have Celestial, Hardened, just like the other ones here. Um, and, but this one doesn't have Bulwark. Cooldown Immunity, right? I really wish this was Area. And then Random Torture has started to battle to everybody. Pretty sweet. So, yeah, if you could get your hands on this, this is definitely worth your 200-something gems, whatever amount of gems you're gonna spend on it close to 300 it's gonna be worth it trust me every single one of those gems is worth it uh if you pick this monster up like let's say back when he got released up until now i'm sure you already maxed it out and you're already using it that's how good he is yeah so if you need a good resurrector this is like literally the best one you actually pick up uh he comes around in the shop most of these monsters that i'm going to mention they actually come around in the shop from time to time so make sure you have your gem saved up to purchase it now the next monster i want to actually mention is like the best there's literally no one else can compete well actually no let me let me take that back there is another monster that could actually compete with her nerida so nerida the really the, the nice thing that i actually like about this monster well there's there's many things first of all but if i were to choose between nerida mother talica and also there's another trade tabler master goldfield right and there's another one that applies or has like an area torture immunity but i forgot who it is um if I had to choose between all that, I'd have to go with Nerida. The reason for that is because this monster can actually do Trade Table, something Talica can't do, or uh, what was the other one that I mentioned? Well, Master Goldfield can Trade Table, but the thing is, this monster actually has something that's even better than Master Goldfield cannot provide, which is Area Torture Immunity as a status caster. You know what I mean? That's really nice. You do have Area Poison, Bulwark, and all this. It's really nice. Skills are pretty nice too. You have Trade Table, you have NER, Healing, Shield torture immunity all that good stuff so if you need like a really good supporter that will support your team this is like the best one one of the best ones actually free to play free to play wise this is the best one but that actually brings me to my next point some of you guys are probably wondering who who is actually better than Nerida? well here's the thing let me get let me actually put you guys on this one maggie 
Maggie is actually insane. This is just, just amazing. So basically, this monster has what the other one provides. You know what I mean? You have immune to torture. You have survivor, survivor uh, immune to control, area damage reduction, and area evasion. This monster has, I believe, NERs and stuff as well. And also, this monster comes with PR and trade disable, right? Just like Narada. But the reason why I said this one's better is because you get that area evasion. I'd rather take area evasion over area torture immunity. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I really like this. And also stats are better. Uh, the torture immunity is only to itself, unfortunately, but area evasion makes it up for it. <laughs> and this monster has area evasion with NER and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. So pretty good. Um, probably one of the best pay to one monsters out there. Now, I actually want to just throw in Carol out there too. Some players like to run this monster as an attacker, some run it as a supporter because of the extra turn transfer. I would say this is probably one of the best to actually invest in as well. One of the best supporters if you're going to be using it as a supporter because it has anticipation, which is really, really nice. You do have area of vulnerability as well that applies to everybody, which actually makes them vulnerable again. So if you're going to be running as a supporter, hey, that's, that's there. You know what I mean? Go ahead and pick it up. I'd rather go with Magida over Carol because I just like trade table. I like um, having access to trade table PER, opening the path for my attacker, all that good stuff. So first I'd pick up Maggie if I were you and then Carol and then max out. You know what I mean? But anyways, with all that being said, let's actually put in this other monster next. Can you guys guess who it is? There it is. This is, I feel like, one of the best um, monsters that you can actually invest into. Like, let's say if you need a supporter that will apply damage boost to your team, like really good damage boost. This monster has it. It's got triple damage, double damage. Uh, I don't know about 50%, but there's uh, heals. Heals come with it. And I know this monster is missing NER, but if you do have Caridor's Horn, that actually makes it up for it. Because Caridor's Horn basically just completely resets everything. So once you get a turn with this monster, you could give that triple damage or double damage, whatever it is, to your attacker, you'll be fine. Now here's the thing, I wanted to do Darman slash this other monster, so it's like a both of them, but I like Darman slightly more. So let's say if you can't get your hands on Darman, there is another monster that's almost as good as Darman. That is Forge Labs. Forge Labs, this monster is amazing, has a bunch of healing skills, triple damage, NER, and all that good stuff. But Darman's stats are better. Darman has access to character's horn. This monster doesn't, but this monster does have access to NER. So just want to throw that out there. But I do like Darman more because of Forge, uh, rather than Forge Labs, because Darman has access to character's horn and the stats are more up to date. Uh, but they're pretty much alike, basically. You know what I mean? Now, moving on, the next one we got in line is from Galactic Era. And that's Lamuna. Now this monster is more of a support than a denier. I know some of you guys are probably gonna comment, oh, this monster's a denier. No, it's not, not really. He's like she's like a mix. I would say she's more of a support than a denier. I know she has possession skill, cold blood, you know, going through all that stuff. But if you really think about it, this is more of a support. Look look at the area random positive status effects. That's a dead giveaway right there. And on top of that, this monster has access to PR, random, you know, negative status effects, NERs, especially NERs. It's really good. So I would say Lamuna is definitely one of them. Now, I want to do Lamuna slash another monster. If that's cool with you guys, that would be Naya. So Naya slash Lamuna, both of them are really good for supporters. I know this monster is a hybrid as well, can be used as an attacker or a supporter, but this monster is really good as well to invest in. You see this monster everywhere. It's mainly used as an attacker, like I said, but you can use a supporter, it's really good. So I want to put that monster in there in the list as well. Um, moving on, next monster we got here is from Galactic Era. This is like literally the best, one of the best in my opinion actually, one of the best free-to-play supporters. This monster is amazing. It's the role, it's funny because this monster's role is supposed to be an attacker, but a lot of players I know, they actually run this monster as, an uh, as a supporter, which is funny. I personally do it the same way as you guys, supporter, because it's, I feel like it's the best. He has access to PR, trade disable, heals, damage boost, NER, so much things. I just, everything is so good about this monster. I really like it. So, one of the best to actually invest in here, too. Next on, uh, it's, I think, yeah, this one's also from the Galactic Era. No, wait, not Galactic. Blossom. Shariana. This is one of the best to actually invest in as well. It's like Madam Fusion, but not as good as Madam Fusion, let's say that. Like, in terms of skills I'm talking about. In terms of skills, I'd rather go with Mana Fusion, but this monster is basically the same way as Mana Fusion, except she actually deals damage. But the thing is, the turn transfer does not NER. That's the only 
downside. But this is literally Mana Fusion 2.0. Better stats. I would say better talents, obviously, because Fusion that I have access to that. Uh, I really like the self dodge area, minor blinds, everybody. So this is one of the best actually investment that will help you like open up the path for your team, let's say. So one of the best investment. And then last but not least, we gotta end it off with the one and only. This one is from Blossom Era. Fireful. I wanna I wanna actually end it off with Fireful because Fireful I feel like is kinda underrated. What do you guys think? Monster, it's really good. I don't know I don't understand why not many actually like use them. For Team Wars, especially Team Wars, he's really good. So he can never start off with shock, first of all. So if there's a random torture, you don't gotta worry about it. It's not gonna hit you. You have immune to torture as a as a trait. You do have bulwark, random elements of weakness, and random torture. This monster has access to random damage boosts, plus turn transfer, plus NER, uh random tortures as well, I think, or random necrostatics, it's one of the two. And more NER stuff, which is pretty sweet. And he is pretty up to date as well. He has access to blossom talent, so He's pretty good. He's pretty good to invest in. He's gonna last you a while. But what do you guys think of the list? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, I didn't want to really put my input on Robor because I don't really know much, much about that monster. You know what I mean? So I didn't really want to say anything about it. But anyways, that will be pretty much it for today's Monster Gens top 10 supporter video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.